Welcome back to Dropedia Tutorials. Today I'm gonna teach you how to draw shadow jewels from Fortnite. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm gonna draw on my Wacom tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, sharpie, or crayon. Now first of all, I'm gonna draw a semicircle line across for the top of her head right there. And on the right side here, I'm going to extend it downwards. And I'm going to make a semi turn on the right cheek to the left. And I'm going to stop right there. Now going back to the left side of her face, I'm going to draw a semi line at the side here for her ear. And turn it slightly to the right at the lower point right there. And I'm gonna draw a line down from the side and at that point I'm gonna draw across a curved line and a line back up on the right side. Now for the details of her mask I'm gonna draw a curved line from this point and to the right and below that I'm gonna turn it outwards with the diagonal line down and back in with diagonal line at that point and sideways to the center of her face and the semicircle turn down right there and across a curved line and at that corner I'm gonna make a turn back up and a semicircle turn to the right now for the eye, I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna copy the same shape at this side and a diagonal line right here. So we see the turn to the right and turn it downwards at the middle point right there and a diagonal turn back to the left. Inside of that, I'm gonna draw her eye with a curved line at the top and turn it back slightly down at the inner corner and another curved line at the lower point across and a small circle for her pupil at that left corner and a small dot in the middle. And around the eye opening I'm gonna thicken the line surrounding the eye and I'm gonna copy the same shape on for the right eye Now at her mouth, I'm gonna draw some lines, almost like an oval shape, three lines to be exact, right there. And below the neck, I'm gonna draw a line down and extend it to the side. Also on the left, and at this corner of the shoulder, I'm gonna draw a curved line across. Turn it diagonally down and to the right and sideways. And at this corner, I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape and another one inside of that. Now below that buckle, I'm gonna draw a diagonal line down and to the right on this corner. And I'm gonna make a turn at this corner and extend it down now for the color of her shirt I'm gonna draw across a curved line at this point to the right shoulder and I'm gonna extend the line of this shoulder to the side and turn it with a semicircle turn downwards and this side I'm gonna draw a curved line outwards 
and turn it back in towards the outfit on the left shoulder I'm gonna draw a semicircle line on the left right here and turn it downwards I'm gonna do the same thing for the inner line with a curved line down to the elbow point and at the elbow I'm gonna extend it down and a curved line for the inner line of the arm and below that I'm gonna draw across a curved line and a line down on both sides below that and then across another line and lines coming down from the side all the way to the wrist and at the wrist point I'm gonna draw across a curved line and another curved line across right there now at the side of her outfit I'm gonna extend this line downwards to her waist and I'm gonna draw a few curved lines at the sides there and a line below the arms right here and a curved line upwards towards the buckle and another curved line behind right here and I'm gonna trace the same line at this inner corner right there now from this point in the middle I'm gonna draw some wavy line downwards and at that corner I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape and another one inside of that a below around the waist I'm gonna draw across a curved line to the right right there and above that curved line at this point I'm gonna draw a curved line up and turn it sideways I'm gonna copy the same shape again at this inner corner right there and below the waist at the side I'm gonna draw a semicircle line and turn it downwards I'm gonna do the same thing on the right and then I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape in the middle point right here and from the side I'm gonna take this point and draw a curved line towards that rectangular shape and continue that to the right side and at this point I'm gonna draw another rectangular shape and we're gonna draw the lower point of the belt this point across and a line at the side and inside of the belt I'm going to trace the same curve line across at the upper point and at the lower point now on the glove I'm going to draw a curve line coming out from the right side of the sleeve here turn it down and sideways and for the other finger a line from this point down so we could turn to the left and up and we're gonna copy the same shape for the other finger to the left and extend the side all the way to the wrist and above the knuckle I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape right there for the top part of the glove on the side of her pants, I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape right there and at the side, I'm gonna draw on the right side, I'm gonna draw a line down and inside of that, I'm gonna draw across a line and I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape in the middle point below and I'm gonna copy the same shape at this outer corner right here and below that I'm gonna draw a line coming down from the mat center and a rectangular shape in the middle and coming out from the side I'm gonna draw a line at this corner a circular line at the side turn it down back in sideways 
and turn it down and we're gonna mirror the same shape at this lower point right here and on the left side I'm gonna draw a line out and a circle turn at the outer corner and below that another rectangular shape and a circular ending at this two points and across a straight line and at that point here below that I'm gonna draw another rectangular shape and another one in the middle I'm gonna add a line at the sides here and for the pants in the middle I'm gonna draw a curved line across and off center I'm gonna draw a line down to the knee pad and we're gonna draw a curve line at this corner and for the knee pad I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape at that point and inside of that I'm gonna draw another rectangular shape with curved sides like that I'm gonna trace the same outline in this inner part right here and inside of that I'm gonna draw an X and I'm gonna trace the outline of the outer rectangular shape as well and for the outer line of the leg I'm gonna draw a curved line down a curved semicircle at the side right here and continue that line all the way down to her ankle now for the right side I'm gonna draw a curved line at the outer line here and another one at the outer part and a rectangular shape below that and I'm gonna draw a curved line coming out towards the inner line of this leg a line down and a curved line back out and I'm gonna trace the curved line at the upper portion right here and at the lower point and at the outer part I'm gonna copy the same shape of the pockets on the side here Next, I'm going to copy the same shape of the legs and the knee pad on the right side. Now for the low point of the pants on the right, we're going to draw across some zigzag line at this lower point right here, all the way to the left side right there, and turn it back up. And for the right side, we're gonna continue the line on the side and at the lower point across curve line. Semi circle turn at the top side there and curve line coming down and a curve line across at the lower point. Now for her shoes, I'm gonna draw a curve line coming down and a curve line at the heels. And for I'm going back to the front, I'm gonna draw a curve line down and a curve line across at that point and another one on the right side and a line on both the endings across. And I'm gonna continue the line to the front tip of the shoe and a semi circle turn at the front and down. I'm gonna draw across a wavy line from the back to the front tip of the shoe right there and on both the front and the back I'm going to draw a short line down and across a curved line to the front triangular niche and another triangular niche at that point and turn it upwards across and down and back to the front triangular niche and a few more along the way 
and at the upper part of the boots I'm gonna draw the strap right here and in between the two straps I'm gonna draw some curve line all the way to the front and across a curve line at the front there and for the left side of the shoe I'm gonna draw a curve line down and slightly flare it out at the side right there and for the inner line we're gonna do a similar shape and at the corner I'm gonna draw a semicircle turn on both sides and across a curve line at the lower point right there and on both the left and right I'm gonna draw a line down and across a similar curve line and for the straps I'm gonna draw at this point right here a curve line and a curve line at this point and on both ending point I'm gonna draw a line down and on the upper strap a rectangular shape at that point and line in the middle off center all the way to the front and across the curve line and for the right arm I'm gonna extend the hand on the side here and a curve line at the elbow point out and we're gonna copy the same shape of the glove on this side and for the thumb I'm gonna draw a curve line out semicircle turn downwards semicircle turn back up and a curve line at that corner and for the other finger a curve line diagonally up semicircle turn back out and semicircle turn and we're gonna copy the same shape across for the other finger and on the left side of the palm I'm gonna extend this line all the way to the side now for her braids I'm gonna draw from the cheek here a curve line to the right and another one at the top and join it at the middle point right there and below that I'm going to draw a semicircle line at this corner diagonal turn to the center and mirror that on the right side and we're going to extend this line down and we're going to copy that shape again at the lower point all the way to the end and at the ending point I'm gonna draw a circular shape and a curved line below that and below that I'm gonna draw a curve line at the side and I'm gonna turn it outwards
And that's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to drop your requests, suggestions, or any other comments in the comment section below. See you next time.